everybody. Today I wanted to introduce you to my philodendron plants. Philodendron is a family of plants that I find to be some of the most rewarding plants you can grow. They are extremely tolerant of overwatering, underwatering, too much sun, too little sun. They're super easy to propagate and to grow new plants. Um, so, you know, for those reasons, they are some of my favorite plants. And there are so many different kinds. I have a fair amount that I'd like to show you, um, different shapes, different colors, different sizes, and I think I just really like the variety. So, um, so these are plants that uh, also, I think, help to boost my confidence in my green thumb. So because they are so easy to care for and I said hey I'm actually doing pretty good I haven't killed a plant in a while so I have kind of slowly accumulated my collection and I'm going to show them to you so first a little bit about the philodendron plants um, so a lot of them tend to vine but other ones tend to have like a bushy growth habit um, for the most part you can assume that most philodendrons will appreciate bright indirect light but um, many plants will grow in less than ideal lighting conditions um, you know the ones that have a lot of coloration on them might not be as colorful if you grow them in a darker spot um, but they will still grow so they um, you know usually appreciate a moist soil, um, but generally you should let at least the top inch of the soil dry out before watering again. <clears throat> and I will say that all of the plants I'm about to show you are very overdue for their watering, so some of them might look a little sad, and I'm actually planning on fertilizing them and then watering them today, and many of them really look like they need it. Usually, these the leaves of these plants when they need to be watered they'll start drooping a little so in a lot of ways you know you can just wait for them to tell you what they need um, which is another you know an, another thing that can help to sort of boost your confidence um, so and if they do get droopy because they need water they usually bounce back pretty quickly when you do water them one thing I wanted to show you um, it was that my fertilizer of choice and there are so many different kinds out there for my outdoor garden, I really like fish fertilizer. I really like the Espoma brand. Um, but what I have been using for my house plants is this Osmocote Smart Release Plant Food. And they say, the instructions say usually like every four, oh, it says every six months. And so that's probably about what I do. So it's these little balls. And the thought is that they release slowly over time. Um, and aside from, from that, I, I don't really fertilize my plants. Um, you know, one of my favorite YouTubers will use sort of like a diluted fish fertilizer, but it can be really smelly. Um, and you have to do it a little bit more frequently. So, but this looks like a pretty balanced fertilizer. My plants seem to do really well. I have thought about trying those steaks. Um, I was looking at them today, but I just haven't done it yet. I have a Maybe when this is gone. But so that's my plan for later on in my day. So usually what I do is I put these on, the dosing is on the back, and then I water afterwards. Um, and then that's it. I kind of just leave them alone. So now on to the most important part. Let's start looking at the plants. So this one, I'm not sure if I showed you this before, but this is a philodendron silver sword. I bought it online somewhere, probably on Etsy. And it was a small plant. It I hope it bounces back. It's doing all right. This leaf, I haven't really decided. It's like really like, see, it's really bendy. You know, like that. Um, but, but the leaf itself looks not terrible. So I think I'll probably cut that one back and then just kind of baby it for a while. Uh, but this one, you can see that the leaves are kind of like this light green color. They almost have a little bit of like a silver tone to them. Um, when you look at healthy, full-grown specimens of this plant, they're really beautiful. Um, so I've had this one for maybe about a month and a half. Definitely needs a little bit of TLC, but I think I actually see a new leaf starting to grow in here. Um, so that's a promising sign. So that's one. Um, I also have this. I think I've shown it to you before, um, but a philodendron lickety split. This was a newer plant purchase, and it's really kind of exploding with growth. 
Um, I just a couple of weeks ago, probably after I showed you in one of my videos, I left it in this uh, west facing window where it's getting a little bit more sun. Um, but this is a plant that's known for being pretty tolerant of low light conditions and it can get really big. Um, so, and this as not a vining philodendron, this is one that tends to grow out and sometimes the leaves can get really long and do what this one is doing. So I really like that one. I like the, the split leaves um, and I think it's pretty happy. Now, um, this other one that I don't think I've shown you yet is a painted lady philodendron. And I actually bought this plant at the same nursery as I bought that lickety split one. Um, but this one is a really beautiful plant. I kind of have it growing up a little trellis. I also recently moved this from an area where it probably wasn't getting enough light to an area where it definitely is. I think actually it might need to be repotted, but we'll leave it alone for now. But these leaves have some really pretty variegation. The vines are reddish colored. The new leaves have this kind of like neon green color. And uh, this plant is pretty cool. They're also really easy to propagate, so that's one, that is in this one's future. But I wanted to let it bounce back. You can see with some of the older leaves on the bottom, there's not as much variegation, and I had it in kind of a, a corner that was too dark. Um, but this one is one of my prized ladies, the philodendron painted lady. Now, <clears throat> this is not a philodendron, but she's being very bad. She's getting into all the plants. I'll stop bragging about my pink princess philodendron soon, but it is a philodendron, so it deserved a place in this video. I love this plant. The old, the newer leaves come in dark and they fade to this like baby pink color. It's a vining philodendron. Um, you know, again, the leaves are darker. I think they call it a black leaved philodendron or something like that. Uh, but this one is doing really well. It is in a south facing window. And I've taken cuttings of it, and it's bounced back, and I'll stop talking about it now. But I love this plant. <clears throat> this is another really cool one. This is called, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but a philodendron micans. So this is, sometimes people will call them a velvet-leafed philodendron. And you can see the leaves are kind of shimmery, soft. If you look really close, they're sort of, oh, there's a big hole in that one, metallic-y. Um, but these are really beautiful. They have this reddish tone to them that will shine through when the light hits them. And um, this one is putting out a lot of new growth. I bought it as kind of, uh, I think it was kind of a baby, but it seems to really be happy with, with where it is. And obviously this one is a vining one. This one might need a new pot soon, but I think I've had this for maybe four months. And it's been really rewarding to watch it grow. <clears throat> Now this is a philodendron brantiatum. I don't know what the other name is, but these are sort of like, I don't know if you'd really call them variegated, but they have this silver coloration on the leaves. I bought this, I've only had it for a couple of weeks. It came in the cold. It's not the happiest looking little plant for sure, um, but I'm gonna give it a chance. This is one, it's really dry. It needs to be watered. I might have repotted it too soon, but I'm going to give it a go because, like I said, I found philodendrons to be really forgiving. Um, so I'm hoping that this one will bounce back, <clears throat> even though it doesn't really look that great. It definitely needs some water. This is a philodendron. Oh, this is not a philodendron. This is a pothos. Never mind, but it's still a cool one. This is a Cebu Blue. Well, we won't talk about that today. Um, now this one I already showed you, but this is my heart leafed philodendron. I bought this a couple of weeks ago. It was a beautiful plant and um, I loved just how full it was, how healthy it looked. So this one is hanging in a north facing window um, and it's doing really well. And this one I've already taken a couple of cuttings off of and there are small roots growing on it. Um, this isn't one that's variegated, but that's okay. I'll show you that one next. But I love the heart-shaped leaves, and it's really, really, really easy to care for. 
Now, I also have a philodendron Brazil. This is, really needs to be watered. This one, because I'm a bad plant owner, is right on top of one of my heat registers. Um, but this I think I bought at Home Depot. So philodendron Brazil is just one type of philodendron. And they all have these variegated leaves. And some of them are kind of cream colored. Some of them are like a neon green and a dark green. But all of them are really beautiful. So I have this one in an east facing window. Um, it gets a fair amount of bright indirect light. It has a curtain over it. Uh, but it is doing really well. I feel like there's not much that I could do to slow this growth down. I have taken a lot of cuttings of this. It's obviously grown back, you know, even be so it is like right on top of a heat register. Um, so there are some kind of crispy leaves at the bottom, but I just cut them off. So this is one of my favorite plants and I have it in a little hanging planter. Um, but I really like this one. And I wanted to show to show you my weirdest philodendron. It could be my weirdest plant. I'm not sure, um, but it was actually given to me as a gift when I bought another plant. I said, what the hell is this? Um, but this plant right here is a philodendron mexicanum. Um, so this plant is really tall. There's Maya and the kitty. You can see the kitty is messing with the plants. And philodendrons are poisonous, so make sure they don't eat the plants, but she's just kind of digging in the dirt. So. Anyways, um, so this plant, like I said, was given to me for free. Um, I have it kind of trained up a stick, a bamboo stick. And so it's actually, it's taller than I am, really. Uh, but these plants, you know, they have these nice dark green leaves. This is a smaller one, but they can be get up to be two feet in length. This one is kind of in a darker area of my home. I think if it were a little bit brighter, then it, the leaves would probably get bigger. But, you know, where it is, I don't know where else I would keep it because it's, it's just kind of getting out of control. Um, but so if I had it in a bright spot, I don't know what it would do. Um, but the leaves on this are really cool looking. You know, this is kind of like one of my... Uh, I don't know if I'd call it a foliage plant, but people always ask me about it, you know, just because it's so cool when it's on the table that it's on, it almost touches the ceiling. So at some point I need to kind of cut it back and I might try to take some cuttings of it because I have a feeling that it would be pretty easy to do so. There's actually some little roots coming out here. Um, but I think that this plant is weird, but beautiful. And, you know, in terms of care, like this, like all other philodendrons have been really easy for me. So I think that's it. Um, please let me know what you think about philodendrons. Do you have any cool ones? I have a lot more on my list. I would love to have a white knight philodendron. I would love to have a pink Congo philodendron. There's so many different kinds. Um, but I really think that that's the beauty of this plant family is that there's so many different kinds and there's so, just the leaves look different. They're all really easy to care for and really rewarding in my opinion. But please let me know. I gotta go catch this kitty before she does something bad. Um, but thanks for watching. Bye.